Hi, this is Mike Olivella. I'm a professional sports photographer in Tallahassee, Florida, and this is part two of my video on how to shoot a pro tennis tournament. Today we're going to go back out to Forest Meadows and we're going to shoot some of the action. I'm going to go out for some of the day matches and then I'm going to go back out for some of the evening matches, give you an idea of what it's like to shoot under both different kinds of lighting conditions. One of the things I'll be doing in the video is showing you the different equipment that I'll use for the day matches as compared to the night matches because I'll be using different lenses. I'm also trying something new out in terms of trying my wide angle lenses to see if I can get something different than I normally get from my standard long lenses and the tight sh action shots that I typically try to get. I'll take the video camera out on the court with me and show you my vantage point from where I shoot and what it looks like from where I shoot so that you'll have a better idea of what it looks like from my position on the court. If you haven't seen part one of my video, check it out on YouTube. Part two is about to get underway. So let's get out to the courts and shoot some tennis. For the second round day matches, I decided to travel a little lighter than I normally would, only because I'm just going to try to get the standard shots I typically get. So today, I brought my low pro hip belt. Inside the hip belt, I can carry on the right a D300. In the center, I've already taken it out, but my D3. And then on the left, I've got my 3570 mild wide angle lens and then to the belt I attached my think tank 80 to 200 lens pouch onto which or inside of which I put my 80 to 200 in case I need it. I also brought my D3 and I've already attached it to my 200 400 millimeter f4 lens. I like to use this lens in the daytime because even though it's f4 it gives me a zoom range of 200 to 400, which is great. That way I can zoom in and out as I need to. And of course I brought my monopod. And one of the things I wanted to show you is something I put on all my big lenses. My 300, my 400, and this 200 to 400. And it's made by Manfrotto. It's something that attaches to the bottom of the lens mount. Instead of screwing my monopod into the lenses, I attach these things to the bottom of my lens mounts and then on the monopod it has the male version that would be the female version female end and that would be the male end to attach the monopod to the lens you simply do like so and then it clicks right in and then you can see the locking piece over on the other side you just flip that switch and then your lens is locked in onto the monopod by using these lens mounts that attach to the tripod instead of using the screw that is on top of the monopod I can interchange lenses back and forth by just simply flipping that switch on top of the monopod and releasing the lens and then I can pop another lens onto the monopod fairly quickly. One thing I thought I'd show you is the players lounge where the players congregate before their matches after their matches. Uh, there's a masseuse table where they get their rub downs and they can just relax, grab a bite to eat and wait for their matches to be called. They get their rackets strung. Hey, you you want to take that trade? Big that for uh Russell. Are you funny? Okay, if we got the if we had the AD pit, who would we pay? We have quarterbacks. Bobby, I do not want uh right now. Players getting a massage. You can also watch some of the action. On the stadium court. This is the vantage point that I have on the court. getting ready to go out and shoot the evening matches tonight and 
basically taking the same equipment that I took earlier this afternoon with one big exception. I'm taking my 400 f2.8 lens instead of the 200 to 400 f4 lens and I'll explain why in a second. I'm taking the 400 f2.8 instead of the 200 400 because it's faster lens. It's f2.8 instead of f4 which means when light goes I'll be able to shoot at 1600 ISO and approximately 1 500th of a second shutter speed. If I was shooting the 200 to 400 at f4 at 1600 ISO, I would probably have to slow the shutter speed down to 1 320 or maybe even 1 250. And that's not fast enough to stop the action when the players are swinging their rackets or trying to freeze the ball. So that's why I'm taking the faster glass tonight. So let's get the stuff out to the car and let's head out to the courts. All right, that's my chair on stadium court. Got one of the little ball dudes back here with me. And from here, I will be shooting out that way. Players are warming up for the evening matches. It's about 7.30, quarter of 8. With the match about ready to start, I thought I'd let you know what my settings are on the camera. I have the D3 set on manual, 1 800th of a second, ISO 800, F2.8. I brought my 400 tonight because light's going to start to go soon and I need the F2.8 lens. Let's get the shooting. Back home now after having shot the tournament and I've already downloaded my cards. I've converted all the raw images to JPEGs using that program Instant JPEG from RAW which you can download for free on the internet and I wanted to give you an idea of some of the images that I was able to get while shooting out there uh, both from the day matches as well as the night matches before I get into the day or night matches though I wanted to show you uh, the results of my experiment I took uh, my 15 millimeter my 17 to 35 millimeter and my 35 70 millimeter out to the courts on Monday night and I was experimenting from my vantage point back in that chair behind the court in the corner and I pre-focused on a certain spot and just waited for the players to come into my field of view I rested the camera down on the court and shot up at the players as they were playing and I wanted to show you some of the images that I got Now bear in mind that these are all unprocessed, I haven't run them through Photoshop yet, they'll look a heck of a lot better once I get done with them, but it gives you an idea of what a wide angle lens can do, even in a tennis tournament. Normally I'm shooting very tight action, but every now and then I will step back and try a wide angle lens just to see what comes out. Now let's take a look at some of the tighter shots. Those are from the night match. These are some from the daytime match. So as you can see, I had a pretty good day. I got plenty of photos of variety of different players, different poses. They're all sharp, balls in the frame, you can see their faces, uh, good action shots. I'll go through and clean up the ones that I think are the best and turn those into the tournament desk. Well I hope you enjoyed part two of this video. I hope you enjoyed tagging along with me as I photograph this particular tennis event. If you have any questions please feel free to ask them on my website www.baselineshots.com I have a blog there, Baseline Shots blog and I'll be posting some of the photos from the various days of shooting out there and on that blog there's a comment section and you can ask me whatever you want uh, how I did this, how I did that, why I did this, why I did that and I'll do my best to answer those questions for you. I will be posting some of the photos on the blog make sure you check it out. Thanks for watching.